India, the country that once imported weapons, is now exporting them. And this time, it has stunned the defense world. India's indigenous laser weapon, Durga 2, has grabbed attention for demonstrating that future wars may be fought not with explosive missiles, but with beams of light. Developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, Durga 2 is being presented as a system capable of destroying incoming ballistic and cruise missiles in flight, essentially incinerating targets with focused laser energy. How Durga 2 works? Durga 2 is a high energy directed energy weapon. Unlike conventional missiles that explode, this system uses concentrated light to heat and disable targets. With the push of a button, it emits a focused laser beam at near light speed that can neutralize incoming missiles, drones, and even fighter aircraft in a matter of seconds. The system can be deployed on land, at sea, or in mountainous terrain, in places where traditional missile defenses struggle. Why the world is surprised, only a handful of countries, the United States, the United Kingdom and Israel, have worked on comparable laser defenses. Now, according to Indian reports, India has joined this club. Observers are surprised not just by the capability, but by the claimed cost efficiency. Durga, too, reportedly destroys targets at an energy cost of roughly $3 per engagement. By contrast, some interceptor systems cost hundreds of thousands of dollars per shot. If those numbers hold up in practice, Durga 2 would be both cheaper and faster while remaining highly precise. Strategic impact. Durga 2 has reportedly drawn praise from some quarters internationally and has put other nations on notice. Analysts say such laser weapons could redefine modern warfare, shifting the calculus from expensive kinetic interceptors to affordable, repeatable, directed energy defenses. India's development of Durga 2 is being framed not merely as a technological achievement, but as a symbol of strategic self-reliance. Innovation born of determination, not only deep pockets. If validated, it would mark a major milestone in India's rise as a developer and potentially an exporter of advanced defense technology. India's rise in the global defense ecosystem is no longer subtle. It is loud, visible, and disruptive. A country that for decades depended on foreign suppliers for fighter jets, artillery, missiles, and radar systems is now building futuristic weapons systems that even seasoned military powers are still experimenting with. The most striking example of this transformation is Durga 2, India's indigenously developed directed energy laser weapon system created by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. This is not just another missile or radar technology. Durga 2 represents a paradigm shift in warfare, where battles will no longer be fought with gunpowder and fuel-powered rockets alone, but with concentrated electromagnetic energy moving at the speed of light. For more than five decades after independence, India was one of the world's largest arms importers. Its defense procurement portfolio was dominated by the Soviet Union, later Russia, followed by France, the United States, and Israel. Indian armed forces depended heavily on foreign platforms, from MiG jets to Sukhoi fighters, from T-series tanks to imported air defense systems. But over the past 15 years, a strategy shift took place. Make in India, in defense, Atmanirbar Bharat, Defense Self-Reliance Mission, Rapid Investment in Indigenous R&D Public-Private Defense Production Partnerships, Export-Oriented Defense Manufacturing Policy, and as a result, India is now exporting BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles, Akash surface-to-air missile systems, advanced radars, naval warships, armored vehicles, and artillery ammunition, simulation systems, drones. But even among all these achievements, Durga 2 stands in a different league. It is not an upgrade of an old concept. It is not a replication. It is next generation warfare technology.